E-scooters are the thing in some parts of the city, but the morning insiders found the two-wheeler transports everywhere, really, including up in the street here. Our Lauren Victory took a look at the month-old program and found it's run into some bumps. Admittedly, it took us more than an hour to find an electric scooter out of place. But this lime in Lincoln Park was nowhere near the go zone. A few blocks away, the VO Ride app let us report this neatly but wrongly parked scooter. It was a solid two miles from where it was supposed to be. We aren't the only tattletales. People griped about scooters to the city at least 131 times in the first month they're allowed here. That's according to Chicago's 311 log, where the Department of Transportation is listed as the owner of each complaint. But when we tried to ask what people aren't happy about, CDOT pointed us to Business Affairs and Consumer Protection, which pointed us to the scooter companies themselves. BACP wouldn't tell us which companies are the worst offenders. So we focused on other calculations, cross-referencing 311 complaint locations with the scooter pilot zone map. Seems most rule-breaking riders tend to drop them just over boundary lines. But how did this scooter make it nine miles away to 98th and Loomis? With the congestion and uh, the traffic, it's easier to get around. Scooter fan Matt Cook shrugs off criticism of the newest craze. So it doesn't bother me at all. Come out, ride the scooters, have a little bit of food. Meantime, Nisha Singh was looking forward to a class about scooter rules and safety in a 15th District police parking lot. It would have been a nice event. No one was here. No People like Roy Williams yeah. showed up to the bird-sponsored training with his grandson, but the promise of a food truck, helmets, and more were nowhere to be found. An organizer showed us this text she says is from a Chicago police employee blaming headquarters for canceling last minute. It was canceled the day before, or two or three days before some came up, but the day up, I think that's a little challenging. We feel like we don't have any answers. It was just like, eh, we're not doing it. CPD tells Lauren that headquarters canceled the bird scooter class after deciding it would be unethical to allow one company over another during the scooter pilot period to use city property. Tonight, organizers partnered with Lime. The event was moved to private property. Find more information on CBSChicago.com.